Hey, that little kid is crying. I wonder what happened. Let's go check what's wrong. Master Chevin might have stopped around here. She might have been forced to go near the Umbral Needle. If that's the case, then... Please, you have to save her! Master Chevin! Traveler. Put up much of a fight. <sighs> Thank you so much. I thought I wasn't going to make it down this mountain alive. Saved by the traveler. Guess my luck's not too bad today. Uh -huh. Sorry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Chevin, a gem artisan. I'm not usually this lucky, but maybe things are looking up. She did, huh? 
I didn't mean to make her worry. I wasn't planning to be gone longer than... two days. Tops. But then, I discovered a new seam of volcanic crystal near the umbral needle. It's a large deposit and the purity is exceptional. I dug up a whole bunch of it and was getting ready to head back. But the phlogiston within the crystals attracted monsters. I panicked and ran up a narrow path to avoid them. But by the time I was in the clear, I ended up running into those bandits. You showed up in the nick of time. If the situation was so dangerous, why didn't you just drop the crystals and run? I left most of them behind, believe me. I only kept the purest chunk. I have to bring it back no matter what. For Tlasoli and poor little Nechka. Ah, right, you wouldn't know. Tlasoli is a former ancient name artisan, and Nechka is her daughter. That's right. Or, well, she used to. Now she just handles regular forging commissions. Because of her daughter. Poor Nechka contracted an awful illness. And Tlasoli put everything aside to take care of her. Even as Nechka's illness grew worse, Tlasoli never gave up. Like a torch in the night. She was determined to burn bright, even as darkness encroached from all directions. Still, all's well that ends well. Thanks to the doctor's medicine and the great spirit's protection. Nechka's flame was rekindled. Her condition has been slowly improving ever since. She's still weak, of course, and has to recuperate at home. But she's well enough to write letters already. She often writes to Shilonen, apparently. Her dream is to become an ancient names forger, just like her mother. Her birthday's in a few days, so... Tlasoli asked me to find a pure volcanic crystal to give her as a present. Yeah, talk about an important chunk of ore! What a nice gift! Paimon hopes it helps her feel better. I'm sure she and her mother appreciate your well wishes. All right, let's head back. I'm sure Emish is worried sick. Actually, why don't you come with me to visit Tlasoli tomorrow? It's all thanks to you that I managed to bring back the crystal. You deserve a reward for helping us protect something so significant. said she contacted Shilonen about that already. Let's not complicate things. We don't need anything fancy like that. A normal gift is more than enough. <laughs> don't worry. Something tells me you'll like this one. But I'll let Tlasoli tell you what it is herself. You're early. Looking forward to your gift? That's right. Nechka's been so sick, and Tlasoli had to give up what she loves. Things might get better, but they could probably still use some cheering up. 
<laughs> I've already asked someone to swing by and let Sasoli know we're coming. She's probably made all the necessary preparations. Let's go then. Do you mind watching the story, Mish? I'll be right back. Chevin, okay? Don't let her go anywhere dangerous. Here we are. Nice house, right? Give me a sec, I'll go knock. Flasoli! Open up! They're here! Flasoli? Are you home? Open the door! That's strange. Huh, the door's locked. But she shouldn't be out at this time of day. Hey, Nechka! Nechka! It's me, Chevin! Open up, please! What if something happened to the two of them? What if Nechka got worse again? Let's not overthink things. They were doing just fine the last time I was here. Nechka was sleeping soundly in her room. Still, I told Tlasoli we were coming. Maybe she had to take Nishka out to get some medicine. Hey, what's that over there? Looks like a Tepeclosaur nest. That's right. Tlasoli has a Tepetlisaur companion. If I remember right, its name is... Iengu? When she was still in the forging business, She'd often have Iangu help with some digging work. But since Nechka fell ill, she hasn't let it dig much recently. Wait a minute. What the... This place is a mess! Iangu's nowhere to be seen either. Whoa, look at all these broken boxes! Something terrible must have happened! This cliff! Could the Tepetlosaur have climbed up the mountain? Let's head up there and see! Here. 
Might not be Tosoli's companion, though. Uh... Paimon still doesn't see any sign of Tosoli. Hey, Traveler! Paimon! That's Chevin's voice! Come down, quick! Tlasoli's here! Huh? We just got up here and Tlasoli's back already? What a coincidence. I... Uh, why is the Tepatlasaur coming along? Whoa, hey, hey, don't run! Yangu, come here. Are you being naughty again? <sighs> oh, that's a good Saurian. Oh, you must be hungry. Sorry, I'll whip up something for you later. All right, run along and play now. I'll come along in a sec. <sighs> oh, sorry, you two. I was waiting for you at home when Nechka... Well, she snuck out and ran off by herself. She said she just wanted to pick some flowers for our guests. But she ended up getting lost along the way. Luckily, I managed to find her before long. Yeah, Kevin told us she was just starting to get better. She's still very weak. The shock and the cold wind certainly didn't help, so she ended up with a slight fever. I gave her some medicine and now she's in bed. But it's nothing a good night's rest can't fix. That said, she won't be able to meet you today. I'm sorry you came all this way for nothing. Don't worry about it. We know she's still recovering. Chevin told us how serious her illness was. Her health definitely comes first. We were just dropping by to check on her. Yes, and to run away from meeting her vegetables. She's a fast one, that's for sure. She jumps over chairs, hides under the table, then runs all around the house. I can hardly catch her. Seeing how she is now, that's already enough. I really couldn't ask for more. Hey, cheer up! This is supposed to be a happy occasion! We do appreciate that she tried to welcome us with flowers. Anyway, Tlasoli, about the thing I was telling you before. Yeah, what did you get us? Well, it's a blaze gem inscription. I made it from the purest ore, so it's almost completely resistant to erosion. The techniques used to make it are all rooted in ancient name forging. <laughs> Don't say that or the wild might smite me. The process just uses a few of the same techniques and materials. When I first made one, I didn't think it could serve any practical purpose. Apart from the erosion resistance and the general aesthetic. But then Chevin suggested using the crystals to make a special kind of ornament. Blaze gem inscriptions made by an ancient name artisan. Engraved with words that never fade. Quite the sales pitch, don't you think? Wow, that description really does make it seem special! <laughs> Tlasoli's blaze gem inscriptions really are special, though. Word of mouth isn't always reliable. As information gets passed along, it becomes incomplete, forgotten, and sometimes even distorted. But the words inscribed on these crystals will stand the test of time. The inscription will never deteriorate, and the meaning will never get twisted. It's the perfect gift for a dear friend or significant other. You could even pass it down to younger generations. Hi, interested! Let's buy one! 
Traveler, we can engrave our names onto it! Then, once we find your sister, we can get her to add her name as well! That way, our names will be together forever! <laughs> You deserve it. You saved me. And Nechka's birthday present. It's the least I can do to repay you. Chevin, I thought I told you. Don't you start acting shy too, Tlasoli. It's a great gift. I know how much work goes into one of your Blaze Gem inscriptions. Well then, thank you both. I'll have it ready as soon as possible. Then, I'll have you do the inscription yourself. Nechka should be well by then. She'll be very excited to meet you. Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't even know how expensive that would be. You sure we have enough travel funds? Hold on, this isn't part of some scheme to make us spend all of our mora, right? Chevin? You never know. You do look like you have some savings to spare. No, don't listen to that, Traveler. You'll end up losing all your mora. <laughs> In any case, it's up to you. Mm. Oh no, it's the Tepatlasaur again! Quick, someone stop it! Paimon doesn't want to get run over again! <sighs> also, if you don't mind, Tlesoli, I'd like you to help me repair my Blaze Gem inscription. I dropped it when I was attacked earlier. The rope and clasp both snapped, so I haven't been wearing it. I tried fixing it myself, but I just couldn't get it to stay. Could you help? Just leave it to me. I'll make it as good as new. Thank you, Chevin, for going all that way and... It was nothing. We all just want Nechka to get better. You're right. Miangu, behave yourself. I'll feed you in just a second. I'll have Chevin contact you once everything's ready, Traveler. Maybe we'll even line it up with Nechka's birthday. We can even have a little party. Oh, that sounds great! We'll look forward to all the good food! And we'll make sure we're ready to eat! Anyway... See you around, Fusoli! Look after yourselves. Nechka is going to be so happy to meet you. <laughs>